And he plays for Team USA. Why? Because he's American. Because he grew up in America. So he is going to represent the United States of America. It's, two, it's twofold, Hutton. It's me versus Team USA basketball because they failed in losing to Nigeria in this warm-up exhibition, getting ready for the Olympics. First time Team USA, I believe, has ever lost to an African nation in, in men's basketball. So it's me against them. But it's also me against Gabe Vincent, uh, who plays for Team Nigeria. Okay? Okay. Um, he lit up Team USA. So congratulations. Good job. Six for eight from three. A big part in Nigeria beating the United States. Gabe Vincent plays for the Miami Heat. And his middle name, apparently, is Gabe Nande Vincent, I believe. And I'm looking up to make sure on that. Either way, yes, Gabe, Gabe Namdi Vincent. He goes by Gabe Namdi when he's playing for Nigeria. The one problem with this is Gabe Vincent is from Modesto, California, <laughs> and spent his entire life in the United States and played at UC Santa Barbara and then was undrafted. And he's a nice story. He signed on with the Heat this year, and uh, he, was, he was knocking around in the minor leagues for a while. And now he's got an NBA career. Um, I'm not hating the game here, but what I don't like is I don't see the Olympics and playing for a country as like a fantasy draft. Like if you're an American born and raised in America, America is the great melting pot. Almost everyone comes from somewhere else also. It's what's made us superior in the Olympics and athletics for a long time because we've taken in many instances some of the best from around the world. Now, Gabe Vincent has a father who is Nigerian, and this is why he's able to, to play for Nigeria. His mother is from Connecticut. Let me tell you someone else with a similar background. It's his teammate with the Miami Heat, Bam Adebayo, whose father is Nigerian, and his mother is from America. And he plays for Team USA. Why? Because he's American. Because he grew up in America. So he is going to represent the United States of America. Now, you could come back and say, well, he doesn't have a chance to represent the United States. So why knock a guy who has a chance to be an Olympian, even if it's for another country? Again, I don't see the Olympics as a, well, if you don't make the USA team, then just go play for another country. It's either or. It's one or the other. You are American or you're from another country and you represent that country. I think when you get into this game of you have a father or a mother of one descent and then you're raised in one country, but if, I don't, if I'm an athlete and I don't make the Olympic team in that country, this could go for any other country. This could be if you're in Finland and your mother is Swedish and married a Finnish man and you grow up in, Sweet, in Finland but you can't make the Finnish hockey team or skiing team, so you just go and participate for Sweden. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Now, what I hate more is Team USA not beating Nigeria in basketball, which is a total failure and should not happen with a star power on the American basketball team. I don't care how, how much they haven't played with each other. Don't care one bit. They need to find a way to hold on and beat Nigeria and not lose 90 to 87. But I also don't like that the guy who helped beat America is Gabe Vincent of the Miami Heat, who's from Modesto, California. Gabe Vincent should be an absolute non-factor to the United States of America, both by not being on the American team and by being on the Nigerian <laughs> team. Period. And you're taking a very stri stringent definition of nationalities which isn't the definition that the Olympics uses. My niece, Miriam, was born in Montreal, Canada because my brother was working in Montreal, Canada at the time. My brother, an American, his wife, an American, working in Canada at the time. And guess what? My niece is a dual citizen by virtue of being born in Canada. If she grew up and had an Olympic dream that she couldn't execute as an American and had a chance to play in Canada, well, it's not a thing where she's un-American to play for Canada. She gets a chance to go have an Olympic experience for Canada. God bless her. That's not being anti-American in some way, shape, but or that's, form. That's different. That's using the rules of dual citizenship. And this guy, Gabe Vincent, who we shouldn't give a damn about again as a basketball player, 
somehow has dual citizenship that allows him to play for Nigeria. Take it up with the Olympic Committee. Well, I will take it up with the Olympic Committee. I have a problem with them also. We'll make it threefold. I have a problem with the Olympic Committee allowing that too. And this is totally different. If Gabe Vincent was born in Nigeria and moved six months into life to Modesto, California, I wouldn't have an issue with it. Because he's born Nigerian, his father's Nigerian, and then he happened to be raised. But if States, Nigeria's Gabe rule is Vincent, if your dad's Nigerian, you're Nigerian, that's Nigeria's choice. Well, the rule is we want to get the best athletes we can, so we'll find any connection that we have to get them over here and, and play. I mean, and look, Gabe Vincent wants to be in the Olympics. That's great. I want to be in the Olympics also. I have no option other than to be in the Olympics as the, for the United States. I can't suddenly decide that, you know, I've, uh, I've got Russian descent like Paul does, who, what, second generation Russian-American? Now, Paul, if you were born in Moscow yeah, and moved here a year into life and you wanted to go participate for Russia, I would not have as big of an issue with that. But I would have an issue if Paul Kuharski, who's got Russian in him, also decided, I didn't make the American Olympic team and can't play for them, but Russia will have me, so I'll go play for them. No. If you were born in a country and raised in a country... You are of that nationality. I don't think that should be that, that hard to understand. It's just odd to me that someone who was born and raised in the United States, because they can't be on the American team, will go and play for Nigeria and help beat the American team. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick Network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.